Hey guys, Red here, Section 8 guy. Driving around down here in Birmingham. Just wanted to talk to you guys about some questions that I've been getting asked a lot about. Um, you know, the, the most common question I, I that I get is, well, do I need to fly out to my property? You know, if I'm in the coaching program, what kind of role am I gonna have? You know, talking about you, the investor. And what I tell investors all the time is, in the coaching program, you can have whatever role you want. It can be as active or as passive as you want it to be. Um, I'm down here right now looking at a bunch of clients' properties. I'm checking in. Um, we're going property to property right now uh, with our contractor that you guys will all use, the contractor I've been using for years as part of my team. Um, and. You know, I have clients that, that fly in from across the country to go check on their properties, you know, once every couple months. They wanna check in on the rehab process. They wanna, you know, meet the tenants. Um, and then I have clients that live on the other side of the country or even a state or two over that have never been to their properties. Um, and the reality is there's no wrong answer and there's no right answer. You guys can come and check on your properties whenever you want. And, and that is the luxury of being in the coaching program because you can be as active or passive as you want to be um, a lot of my clients have multiple jobs right or or another job to where that's taking up the majority of their time and in order to be a real estate investor you can't just jump in and, and have a hundred properties and be completely self-sustaining and quit your job right you're gonna have to work your current job when you're starting out. Um, so an incredibly important part of that is being able to rely on a team that you trust, is being able to rely on um, you know, people in another state and, and make sure that they get the job done right. Um, so when I'm your real estate coach and, you know, and I'm consulting you on these deals, we're, we're using my team, it's so fun for me and easy to come down here and, and check in, right? Today we're down here, we're, we're checking in on a bunch of rehabs, we're checking in on a bunch of properties that are under contract, we're, you know, we're meeting some tenants. Um, so, so we're doing all that good stuff. And that's a luxury that you have by using my team that otherwise you'd have to start completely from scratch. You know, and um, the, the benefit of my team is I've created this team over years and years, and you find your team by finding a bunch of the, by going through a bunch of the people that aren't good, right? The people that are trying to take advantage of newer and young investors. Um, the people that are out to, to steal from you. Uh, in any industry, there are a lot of bad players, right? It doesn't matter what industry you're in. So trying to find the good players and the people that actually want to make a difference and understand your morals, understand what you want to do, understand that you want to try and create uh, a situation for people who are less fortunate for you and, and create a situation that's better for them than the situation that they're in. Um, those are all important aspects to what we do. And finding a team that believes in those same morals is unbelievably important as well. So guys, I just want to hit you with that and, uh, and, and, and kind of see where you are at. Um, answer some of those questions, some of the things that are that are most commonly asked of me and um, asked to me. Um, so stick around. We're going property to property today, looking at some really cool stuff. Um, so we'll see you next time.